Waystation Studios has been around for about 18 years. When my daughter was born, I, I thought it would be a good idea to kind of spend more time at home. The magic happens, I find, when people aren't too self-aware of what they're doing and they're just doing what they do. There's always a, you know, a starting point of just, let's make some music. You know, so I have lots of instruments around that I, I hope inspire musicians, you know, there's lots of guitars and drums and amps and keyboards. And then I hope that after we've recorded something, when I press play and play it back, that they feel like, oh, that's us, we just did that, all right. <laughs> My idea is that I can do anything here. And so when I saw Atmos, I thought, I want to be able to do that too. It's worked out fantastically well. You feel it all around you, so you do connect with the music in a different way, I think, because it feels more like your whole body is involved. Every week I feel like I have somebody up here who's never heard Atmos and I play it for them, and it's like, how do I get this? I can't go back to stereo now. I want, what do I need to do to make this happen at my house so I can hear this every day? Victoria Monet, when she came by, she had a great quote. She said, it's like you're swimming and the water is music. <laughs> I thought that was great. You know, I think the awareness of it now is really just starting to happen. My advice is get on board. I'm a big believer and I, you know, continue to feel even more confident that in the next couple of years, you're just going to continue to see more and more Atmos material, more and more people demanding it. Once you hear it, you really don't want to go back. <laughs>